fully gone through. So let's check out the rear of this thing. Inserts to keep the... Oh, that's rad. The coolest thing about this truck right now is the lawn. What's up guys, we're out here with Scott Nakatia Wells. This thing's epic, man. Tell us all about it. What What is this thing, your make model? It's two, it's a 1993 and a 94. It's a single cab that I cut the extra cab and then sleeved it and put it on top because originally it was a single cab, you know, the whole snowball problem. Yes. Started, started working, I was like, my buddy's like, hey, let's just put an extra cab on it, it'll be easy. Just follow these lines, cut it, sleeve it, weld it. There's always that one buddy that's just like, yeah, no big deal. Yeah, he thinks it's super easy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, John. No, but I mean, it actually was pretty easy. Oh, okay. But it was the snowball was the problem. So I did that and then I wasn't gonna link it. I wasn't gonna put a V8 in it. It was gonna be the V6 four liter. The, the Toyota 4L? Yeah, okay. I had one of those purchased and then we I started doing that and then we're, you know, giving it some more uh, wheelbase. So we're like, oh, let's put a V8 in it. Let's link it. And then, yeah, six years later, finally. <laughs> so so take us through the front of this thing. Uh, Scott, what, what's up with it? <clears throat> All right, so. So it's got a six over JD kit for the two wheel drive version of the frame rails. Notch the frame rails to get the extra, I think two and a half inches of up travel. That way it could also sit a little lower for ride height with still redeeming some of that up travel. Okay. Um, and then it's gonna have a three over bypass, 2.5 coil over uh, bump stop that we shortened down to a two inch stroke, just shimmed it. And then it has the race kit, which is, one of my buddies called this the baby arm. <laughs> Okay. Because it's just like massive. Yeah. Dude, but it is. It, that, that, that is definitely an, an arm right there, dude. Yeah. That's beefy. So then it has a hydraulic ram assist as well in there. That's okay. Integrated under the um, skid plate. You okay. can kind of see it. It's kind of packaged in there pretty tight, though, so it's hard to see. It's, yeah, it's, it's way deep in there. Yeah. And Sorry, then, uh, guys. It's the best we could do right here. <laughs> power is going to be a 383 stroker uh, okay. built by Maruzi. Oh, nice. Yeah, Robert, okay. Robertson Man. Um, yeah, dude. Very cool. It puts out some, some power to the ground. Uh, Scott actually pulled the hood off this thing so we could take a better look. Yeah, so uh, 383 stroker from Maruzi. Okay. Um, all RPM exhaust um, all the way to the back. CBR radiator. This is all JD fat built. Yeah, this guy's crushing, man. Yeah, they built all the arms, all the, the two work I did. Did you take all that stuff? This, no, I didn't. I, that was Richard Performance RPM. They built that. I think his, yeah, I think his kid built that. Um, and then, like, this, it's kind of a mutt. Like, this is from Harris Motorsports. Um, he's out of, like, just Escondido Valley Center area. So he mounted the radiator and then the clip, like this little section here. He yeah. mounted the clip. Okay. Like pretty much I just work on it, you know, and then like slowly get over it and then go beg either JD or them to work on it for me. Come on guys, I'm help like, me just, out. Yeah, take my money. <laughs> yeah, he helped me out a lot. I, I don't think I could do it without either JD or Harris Motorsports. Like Hell yeah. this thing would probably still be sitting. So he did the valence, the, the push bar. Yeah. This, he did the shock mounts front and back. Harris? Yeah, Harris Motorsports. Okay. He did the shock mounts. He didn't do these stupid things. Don't look at those. Okay, <laughs> look at those. We'll, I, we'll blur I, it out. I made those. That's why you can see the, the tigs differ from pretty to like. <laughs> hey, like, hey, uh, hey. It works though, okay? Hey, so if you didn't say anything, we wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> Toyota steering box that's just been gone through by a guy in Arizona, which had fully gone through. Don't, yeah, gone through. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I forget his name though, but he did a great job. Super quick turnaround. Yeah, haven't had, I have, haven't had, had any, any problems with it. Yeah, steering's great on this thing, especially with JD's steering kit. I don't, yeah, you don't feel anything, but you still get a nice bit of feedback through stuff. Okay. So it's okay. just not like a mute the whole time. You're just, you know. Nice. You don't feel anything. I hate that. I like to have a little bit of input back. So front suspension wise, we're looking at 17 and three quarters or something like that. I okay. Forget. When I did it, I mean, they, they do stretch a little bit, so it's probably sitting almost at 18 right now. Okay. Uh, 27 in the rear, 37 well, look. tires, Momo. Steering wheel seats. Yeah, dude, let's hop in. So what hubs are these, Brenthals? There we those go. Are, those are questionables, I don't really know. Okay. Um, I think they're Brenthal caps, 
but okay. someone made the other sections of it. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they work great. They're stout. So let's check out the rear of this thing. So it's going to be a nine inch from Speedway full floater. It has 40 spline okay. with five 43 gears in it. They are 300 M. 35 spline. I wish they were like the jumbo 36s or something, but yeah, the thing is so expensive yeah. and it's crazy. And you, can't, you can't fit in that housing, so I'd have to go to a whole new housing. Yeah, dude, this works, man. I mean, you're running 37s, you know, so it, that works, man. That's great. Yeah, so we I mean, this is still super, super beefy, man. Yeah, and trusted it up. That's one of JD's rear trusts you can buy from them as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I bought that from them and just welded it on. And then the arm? That was one of JD's as well, but more JD just, stuff. I bought it from them all in pieces and just welded it together. Okay. Just because it wasn't, it needed to be have a bigger break in it to kind of clear the bumps off how I made it. Okay. So I just yeah bent it a little bit more and then welded it all together. So you said about 27 inches of travel back here. Yeah, it's, I think it's strapped at 27 right now. And trailing arms? Trailing arms are JD's as well. More JD. See yeah. again, more JD guys. Very cool. Pretty much all the suspension components I bought from JD. And then Harris did all like the shock mounts okay. up here. Um, and then 3.5 bypasses, 2.5 coilover. There we go. Um, two tranny coolers for the, the tranny that I, Colhane built. Oh, Col Colhane built it? Mm -hmm. Built yours, huh? Yeah, Col I mean. Colhane built mine too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's, I mean. That's I, the I way to go, I've heard. Steve, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that, Steve. That guy is awesome. I talked to him for a while and. So last, knowledgeable, man. Yeah. So, I mean, he is he is the man, and dude. And just so mellow, like just, he'll give you infinite amount of information and just, you know, it's like true. Excellent. But yeah, they went through that and then we I upgraded it to a reed case. Okay. Which in reality, I wish I would have just pay once, cry once. Where I yeah, just, buy once, cry once. Yeah, yeah, buy once, cry once. I wish I would have just done like all the good internals, but. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I'll probably do that eventually down the road. Right yeah. on, man. And then, um, little storage area back here? Or? Yeah, a little, little storage box. It looks clean. Yeah, 50 gallon fuel safe uh, cell with two nice, dude. spares, which these are pretty cool. Harris built these inserts to keep the. Oh, that's rad. The spares down. Yeah. Yeah, which is pretty cool. And they're easy. I just hit them with the impact, they come right out. Very cool. We got our fill up back here. Looks solid, man. It's, it's just such a solid truck. Got tons of up travel. Um, just so so well put together. You got your uh, fire extinguisher right here. Very important, guys. Don't forget that. Cool, man. Let, let's take a look at the inside real quick. And what what glass is on this thing? So it's Fiberworks front, Fiberworks rear. Okay. This is actually Tacoma glass. Okay. Uh, just the lo these lines kind of fit together. Okay. One of my buddies did that on his Tacoma. Well, dude, I think the coolest thing about this truck right now is the lawn. Dude. I was going to the Glamis and I was like, I was like, oh, well, I don't want to drive with like, I want to drive with sandals. So we put those in. I was thinking they were going to melt like the first run, you know? Dude, this is going to be a thing now. They, I hope they, you know. They didn't melt. So I was like, all right, <laughs> we'll, just, we'll, we'll keep them for a little bit. Hell yeah. Yeah. So you got this, uh, you got ice box back here, you know, a little storage area kind of thing. What radio are you running? So that's the 110 watt Kenwood. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's the head unit and then the actual... Uh, I forget what it's called. Behind, it's behind the seat. You can probably see it yeah. from the other side. My brother sells a lot of those. So Okay, that's cool. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the market, guys. There's different stuff out there. doesn't always have to be uh, some of the stuff you guys see all the time. There's different stuff that can work just yeah, as it's good. Pretty much like PCI, I would assume, you know? It's yeah. Like, it's still the same thing, Kenwood, but yeah. PCI is awesome, too. We got these cup holders. Very cool. Battery kill switch right here, our uh, e-brake. Yeah, well, hoon, hoon handle, I guess, what they call it, too. Right? That's, what, that's what the kids call it. Um, and uh, what was this? Momo steering wheel? Yeah, Momo. Let's push the talk on it. Right on, um, man. Headsets. I think I even have, like, a hidden radio handheld for when you're scoping out. If you want to hit, like, yeah, a spotter or something, you need a spotter, just pull this guy out of there. And there we go. Excellent. See, guys, that, that's important right there. You always got to have something like that. Spotters are important, guys. There's been too many accidents. Too many, too many accidents. Yeah. Got the uh, fire extinguisher in here, too. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this episode. If you guys like this content, you know, please share it. If you guys know somebody that's building a Tacoma or somebody that's deep in the three, four, five, six year range of a build, Show them that it can be done, you know, with persistence and commitment. don't give them a hard time. Yeah. Do you it's, have any? Do you have any it's advice? Gonna, it's gonna happen, right? It'll happen eventually, right? You know what I mean. That's what I keep crying <laughs> myself to sleep.
you know <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna happen mom and dad and <laughs> children that i have it's, not, it's only a lost, family it's only a lost cause if you give up that's right <laughs> that's right those are some good words scott yeah. all right guys so thank you guys so much uh scott thanks bro really right. appreciate it man uh let's get out there man we're gonna go we're gonna go drive this thing now so we'll see you guys later thank you guys so much for watching bye